Um, the most help I've ever had was from the food staff in GR building, the hotel vouchers. Um, see, what I don't understand is that why don't they run Section 8 out of there? Or why don't they run hotel vouchers out of there still? Or why don't they um, point people in a direct direction of a shelter from there? Yeah. You know, because to me, I, I don't know what else to do. All I have is the streets. All I have is um, the, uh, the family in which I can't depend on, the sisters I can't depend on, the brothers I can't depend on, the, the mom and dad that's never been there, you know, or doesn't have the time or patience to look me in the face because it reminds them of something else, you know. Um, I'm a product of a broken home too, you know, but I've got complications even in my broken home. I have twin sisters. I have, um, I have no brothers except a half brother that's just, that, that's, that's real young, who can't help at all. He doesn't understand my situation at all. Yeah. Um, that's just where I stand kind of in life, man. Yeah, I've helped myself. I've, I've, I've saved up money in banks, but right when I'm ready to spend it on something that I need in life, it, it, something else happens. You know, if, if it's not one thing after another, it's, it's just over and over and over again. This door closes, that door closes. This job has an opening. This, uh, there's always a catch to something, you know? Instead of building off of somebody else, there's always a catch to something. See, the thing is that they look at me one time, you know what I mean? And they're like, oh, this kid don't need no help. You know, he can do it all. But, but some other homeless person that they see right next to me, they'll go and offer him housing. You know, it's like, well, hold on. And then I'll confront them and I'll be like, hold on. You know, I need that. And they're like, well, we are, this guy's been waiting for a long time. No, he waited a couple days, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they won't give me no opportunity. It's like, how are you going to help this person when I need the same type of help? And you don't want to give me it? And then they'll get in your face and they'll be like, you know what? We're a, a good uh, company or business. Please, uh, don't, 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 uh, don't destroy what this person is getting and they'll totally avoid the conversation. It's like, wait a second. I've been waiting three, four, five, six years for this to happen. I mean, I have Section 8 in Burbank and, and, and Reading and, and Inglewood, but I gotta go make an appointment in order to pick that stuff up. That's my own help that I did for myself, you know? When people are offering housing out here and I don't have to go nowhere, it's a, it's a lot easier. And that's the reason why I'm homeless, is, is because I've, I've came out of the system. I came out of a broken home. I've came out of uh, things in which uh, destroy the body, the mind, the spirit, and uh, relationships and uh, conversations and uh, things I should have been taught, things I should have been trained, things I should have been uh, knowing for, things I uh, should have been prepared for, you know. Um, People hand down things, people give things, people um, provide things, but most of all, um, they're looking out for the person, that person in which they're, they're doing that for. You know, if we don't do that, then we, we're not sharing what um, good things are ahead of us or going forward in life or being prosperous or being, uh, uh, not worrying about things of, 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 of life, like food and shelter and water.